Hello again YouTube. Um, I thought I'd make my next video about CDs, um, about how I buy and sell CDs on eBay. Um, if you've seen my first video you'll know that I started selling on eBay in 2001 and back then it was a lot easier to make really good money selling CDs. We used to sell individual CDs um, for five or six pounds easily all day long and we'd go to car boot sales and we'd buy them up and we'd, we'd make really good money but that was in a different time when on the high street they would cost you 12 or 13 pounds um, so you could sell them easily for like I say five or six pounds the market now is completely different CDs are, are so cheap to buy anyway through Amazon um, and a lot more people do downloads and don't even bother with CDs, so the demand is less. Um, so it's a completely different market. And a big thing that's happened recently is that the, the market is flooded with second-hand CDs. That the likes of the big companies such as Music Magpie, who if you live in the UK, you'll have probably heard of them. They advertise on telly for you to send all your CDs to them and they buy them off you for pennies. They sell through eBay and they sell through Amazon under the name of Z Overstocks or Overstocks um, and they sell so cheaply they've kind of killed the market and made it at least they've made it harder to, to resell uh, a single CD and make it worthwhile um, so what do I do what I tended to do recently and it works so well uh, is as follows. I still buy an awful lot of CDs. Um, I buy CDs that are artists that have a history, have a following, are a quality artist. No, that's all objective. But um, and I stockpile them. I, when I'm out and about, 50 pence is is my price point on a CD now of what I would class as a quality artist. Oasis, Enya there. Prince, Madonna even, and I stockpile them all, I have a big rack and I stack them all up alphabetically and then when I've got, let's go for Prince for example, when I've got let's say eight Prince albums, I will then do a bundle of eight Prince albums. Now they look all cost me 50 pence or less quite often these days, I pay less than 50p a CD which seems mad to me knowing how much they were when I first got into this market but um, yeah and I will do a bundle <coughs> excuse me and ask 15 20 quid whatever the whatever I think I can get out of it and they'll sell it amazes me I find I get more selling in a bundle per CD than you, than you can manage to get selling them individually on eBay and of course it's just one listing for you it's just one photograph well you might want to take individual photos of all the CDs but it's but it's still only one listing process uh, so it's less work I find I get more for the CDs and you turn them over quicker uh, it's fantastic um, recent ones that have just sold give you examples Linkin Park I just sold a bundle of four Linkin Park albums for ten pounds with three pounds shipping uh, when I look them up individually, I'd be lucky to get 99p or 199 each for them. Yet I sold the four for £10, so I'm getting £2.50 per CD. It's one listing. I just took one photograph of the four albums, sat together, quick and easy. Um, Anastasia, I had three Anastasia albums. She recently had a sort of a comeback, so I stuck three Anastasia albums on. I looked up. Evo was flooded, you, you'd struggle to sell her albums for 99p. I put three on there, I got five pounds. Wasn't big money, but that's three pounds shipping on top as well. So easy. Um, so that gives you an idea. You know, I, I bundle, uh, well, I'll run through some that I bought recently. And bear in mind, I pay 50 pence for these. That's the price I recommend you get in on at CDs. You can't lose out. Uh, Prince. Oasis, great band, always pick up their albums, great to do bundles of, always people looking for their stuff. Enya, Madonna, 
a Dell. Yes, I bought that for 50 pence. That's a Dell 21 and a Dell 19. Somebody had both. 50 p each. I'll do the pair for, I don't know, I haven't looked it up. Eight or ten pounds, I'd imagine. And it will go. Stereophonics. Kylie. You can make bundles out of all of these. Morrissey, definitely. Easy Cell. Keen. Sting. Coldplay. Great band. Great band. You can find their albums all over the place. For pennies. Four or five together, you get ten. Um, R.E.M. Pet Shop Boys. David Gray. I've done bundles of his stuff. They sell really well. He's had a he's had a comeback again recently. Uh, fantastic artist actually. You uh, two, Harry Connick Jr. Um, George Michael. Any of these artists that are that have a history that are you don't want to do the, the super pop flash in the pan bands because they won't have a fan base anymore. But all of these sort of established artists or artists that you think there'll be a market for, it's worth doing. So that's how I do it. I do still sell at CDs individually, but not very many. You have to have something that's really worth worth some good money, or it's collectible, or it's sought after. Um, I do still sell some individually, but yeah, the bundles is, is a great way of turning over CDs that normally you'd, you'd think I can't resell them. Um, so yeah, that's my little tip on selling CDs on eBay. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to do a lot of these videos uh, and give you guys information on what I buy and what I sell and how I earn my living. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Please, like I say, like and subscribe. Send me some questions, uh, request videos, whatever you like. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.